Good afternoon everyone. I thought I would come on today and share with you how amazing this new um, Varied Vases stamp set is. Uh, I was, uh, when we saw it out on stage, I wasn't, um, you know, it just wasn't one of them stamp sets that you sort of like thought straight away, oh my god, I think it's amazing. But I thought I wanted to get it and give it a chance because I thought it'd be okay for like like quick cards, you know, like simple designs and stuff and thank yous. I send a lot of thank you cards, so um, I thought it'd be great for that. So I went and took the plunge and bought it. You can you get it in a bundle where you can get the uh, punch as well. And um, so last night I thought I'd sort of like have a little go and um, make a card. So I made these. <laughs> really simple really simple and straightforward i wanted to showcase the new um in colors stamping up in colors and um and show the simplicity of this stamp and how quick it is and i also wanted to have a chance to use the stamparatus which is stamping up stamping tool i've had it for a while and haven't really put it through its paces because i had the tim holtz one and i'm quite happy to use that but the the stamping up the stamparatus tool does things that the Tim Holtz one doesn't so um, they all have their uh, pros and cons and um, what have you but I'm I'm not going to say I'm never going to use the Tim Holtz one again because it's bigger and I like that one um, but I was amazed last night I was a bit like I used it and I was like oh my stars usually when I try to lay a stamp in it it I always end up with, out of five, I'd get two good ones and three rubbish. So this, you can see, the it's just perfectly aligned. It's just amazing. So I'm going to show you what I did. As it's Friday afternoon, the weather's not as nice as it has been. So what a better time to craft. Anyway, this is the stamparatus stamparatus some people say stamparatus usually the americans but it's the whole tomatoes tomatoes potato potatoes i say stamparatus um it has two plates that just click in and out for you to put your designs on i have already put my stamps on or they're still on from using them last night so um, you can work your design out on a bit of scrap paper and then um, put your your fresh bit of paper. Oh, it does come with, um, you get like a like lovely mat, spongy mat to, um, when you're stamping with the, um, the red rubber stamps, the clear mount stamps, you, um, you use without the mat. But when you are using the photopolymer stamps, you just put that in and that's all you need to sort of like make the difference between the two, which is quite easy. If you um, if you were doing like mixed, you had some elements, stamps that were the red rubber and some that were clear, you've only got to remove this. You haven't got to sort of like change your plates over. So anyway, let's show you how fantastic this is you get two magnets that are like really strong i've put a bit of tape on mine to um help pick it up because well since having these i mean yeah they look attractive but oh, they've been as much of a hindrance i don't know whether it's what i had done or the oh, my, oh, my hands are really inky i'm really sorry um or or what but I mean, this is just my bit of scrap paper. The problem I'm having is, every time I go to pick up a bit of paper, I end up with oh, these red marks on the card. Um, my friend Danielle has said that if I have gel polish, that's something that won't do it. So I might try that next because um, I kind of don't want to have them taken off just after two weeks because that's sort of like, you know a bit of a waste of money so i, I want to persevere with them for at least another couple of weeks so i think i'll go and just have gel polish put on and see if that makes a difference now i found that when you ink up it is 
easier to have something underneath the plate to sort of like stabilize it and then we'll start so we ink up first of all we're going to ink up our vase oh <laughs> i couldn't have done that if i tried so that's the vase inked up and then while we're here we could just turn the plate over and then another piece of my design is i put my sentiment on there and line that up so I could just ink up my sentiment and in the past I don't even want to count how many cards I ruined by making a really nice card and then messing up the sentiment. No more do I have to do that. Right I'll just turn this round and stamp my flower. Some something in my ink pad, a bit of fluff. I don't want fluff on my stamp, do I? Let's ink that up and start again. It's usually cat hairs, to be honest. In fact, there's one there. I think that might be a Milo hair. Right, then we'll pop in our flower into our vase just like so and now we want to add the uh, the colour onto the flowers so we just turn the plate around and ink that up pop it on just look just look it just I know I'm getting excited and I shouldn't but look it's just perfectly aligned oh where am I going it's like looking in a mirror well, it's not as scary as looking in the mirror, but look, I just wanted to show to you how normally, if I'm doing two layer stamping, you just have to, I don't know whether it's because of like my, um, my mobility issues or whether I just, I have a job like, I can't stamp sitting down for one, normally, I can with this, um, because, well, I don't know why, I just can't, <laughs> but, um, should we try something else? Let me let me wing it, change it up. Let's try. Ooh. Let's build a whole new a whole new design. I use a different vase. Yeah, I don't usually do winging it. Right. I'll do this one. Let's put it a bit lower down. Do it a bit more in the middle. Stay there. I can't even see if that's straight, to be honest. Let's pretend it is. Let's take the thanks off. Right, let's pick up that. Um, we could we could add its colour. So um, well actually what I'd have to do is I'll stamp it first. then I can place this over the top and I'm going to have to stand up I think that's about right and then because you want to keep your if you want to do this multiple times so then you can just turn this over put your pattern bit on your plate let's have let's have a blue vase Oh, I haven't picked it up, have I? <laughs> oh, it is Friday afternoon. Come on, cut me some slack. And this is the second time I've recorded this video. I did it the first time. I don't know what I recorded it in, but it wouldn't upload. Look, look at that. 
perfectly in place perfectly in place I'll show you in a second let me add a flower um, oh what should we have should we go for something big and bushy I don't think that'll look right in there, to be honest. I might stick with this one, but I think we'll have to reposition it because I don't think that'll be in the right place. Do you know what? Let's just not... Let's just do what we were going to do. Sometimes we worry too much. Right, I kind of don't want to get the stem inked. So, I'm going to have to sort of work out. How far I want the ink to go. Because we don't want... Actually, do you know what we could do so that's not an issue? I could, I could make a little mask with the punch, pop it over the vase, hey this is genius, and then I can just ink it up and not worry about where the line goes because That's the benefit of... Oh, I missed a bit off there. Why did that top bit come out? There we go. Look at that. Now we need some... Um, need some colour on our flower. So we just play about and line it up. Which way round does it go? Looks like it goes like that. Sorry if you can just see the back of my head. I might just need to put the light on so I can see. I think that's lined up. So we don't want to move our flower because we can then just do another copy in a minute. So we'll just pick that up. What colour flower should we have? Should we go for blue and yellow? I was so excited when Mr Brown came and delivered my parcel yesterday. I did have a bit of a bit of a potentially embarrassing situation though oh my goodness look at that it's fantastic there you go everything's all in line although it does look a bit like it's floating I don't know why the um let me just let me just There you go. It's filled in that little line. Go on, you're impressed. I think this is amazing. I am like, I'm, I'm excited because it's kind of, um, it's, I'm. It's new. I've, I haven't really played with it in this type of thing. So um, for me, it's I'm excited because it's uh, I'm thinking of all the possibilities. 
that's what I can do with it. But I'll leave it there because I don't want this video to overrun. Oh, I was going to tell you about my situation. Yes, yesterday I was waiting for Mr. Brown. Now I can restamp that whole thing now while I'm chatting to you. I've got a longer bit of card here, but that'll be fine. Um, let me just trim it. Um, I left a note. I didn't want to miss Mr. Brown, so I left a note on the back door because I was going to have a shower. So I quickly wrote a note and I put, without thinking this was, I'm glad the poor man didn't come. I just put, um, dear Mr. Brown, or Steve, because he introduced himself so I knew what his name was. Um, I'm just popping in the shower. So just help yourself and come round the back. Well, I, I didn't think until my son came back and was like, do you realise what you've written to, <laughs> to the delivery man? And it just didn't... It didn't occur to me, like, I, I made it sound like I was offering him in. <laughs> well, I really wasn't. Right, so here we go. Stamp the colour. There we go. Then we're going to ink it up. I don't want that side to go on my stamp. No, I'll just put all ink over that, do I? So we'll just put that on there. Let's move it down so that I've got the top like that. So I've got him coming in where I need him to be. Nope, still not got the top. I wonder if I've got that too near the hinge. There we go, perfect. Take the mask off. Um, oh, well, let's go for red. Lovely lipstick. There we go. Perfect. No, it's not. It is now. And then you could just keep doing repetition after repetition, changing it up. So now I could make, I, I couldn't, literally couldn't make the same card over and over again before because um, continuity is not my thing. <laughs> I'm never uh, that accurate enough to get it exactly the same every time. So um, this is just absolutely brilliant. I'm well. I'm sorry. I'm, I sound like a lemon, but I am literally buzzing with excitement. I haven't even. I just opened this set of stamps because I thought this. This I got it because I thought it's just going to be so versatile for like like simple stamps. But I'm. Um, I want to do a um, like a bigger scene, like a whole shelf. You've got one of the stamps. Let me just move that out of the way. One, it's got two stamps on here. You can do the same sort of thing. You, it's got the outline of a that little wavy border there, and the um, like the 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 bit that you'd use to fill it in. Um, but that would make a nice edge of a shelf. You could just stamp that and then you could do like a row of vases along the shelf. And then, but you could, so that they appeared um, to be like beside each other or one in front of the other, you could use your punch to punch out your masks so that you could uh, stamp them all in a row and they'll all be sort of like look properly like they'll one behind each other giving you sort of like a bit of depth and dimension to your card but uh, this stamp set will be available um, at the beginning of June uh, June June the 1st to, to for you to buy the ink pads you can get now um, they're also you can also get the um, the new bundle the new um, 
share what you love bundle that I've made some cards through with during the week. Um, if you want, you can go the the link to my shop. I will put underneath my Stampin' Up website, and it is also in the contacts um, section of my blog, which I'll also add the link to. Um, but it's uh, cotswoldcrafter.blogspot.co.uk and um, I have a lovely group of ladies that come in every day on my blog they refer to it as the cafe because we just all meet up and chat every day um, you, there isn't a place there isn't another blog that is so friendly and supportive I don't think they're an amazing bunch of ladies and they make everyone so welcome so um, do feel free to pop over there and that's it. I will leave you now to enjoy the rest of your weekend and um, I'm off to play some more, make some more cards. I'm also going to do another video about embossing folders. So I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye.